So this video is about Alex Polkisvetsky. I really hope I said that correctly. Hit that like button, dislike button, just watch this video to the end. That's all that matters in the YouTube algorithm is if you watch this to the end. So get that watch time up. So let's talk about Alex Polkisvetsky. Please tell me down below how to say that. Alex Pulvitsky, I'm just going to call him Alex for the rest of the video, is a tall, athletic, young big man that has filled up the stat sheet against players his age in the international competition during the FIBA tournaments, and he put up strong numbers in the second division of the Greek League for Olympiacos this season. NBA teams may be on a never-ending search for the next Giannis Antetokounmpo in their quest to find the next great overseas talent that may be hidden in an obscure professional league, and some people think that Alex could end up being that type of player. He's a skilled playmaker that is comfortable with the ball in his hands. He has shown the ability to be a point center on the floor. He's also a rangy defender that can accumulate blocks and steals in a game. On the downside, he will need to improve his jump shot and he may sometimes struggle to defend outside on the perimeter. Right now, P Pogetsky, I really hope I say that right, may not, may not quite be a polished player, but he's a talented player that may have a unique skill package as that could enable him to go in the middle of the first round in this year's 2020 draft. So if we're talking about like what he's good off, he's great off the dribble when he's scoring, like pull up mid-range great at that he excels at scoring off ball motion so if he's running and he's cutting to the three point on the side he can pull up and catch and shoot that real well and he has really good potential to be a good stretch big but another thing that's really good about him is for being a point center he's a great playmaker and a great rebounder so when he gets boards he's assisting and diming and he's a pretty good defensive player inside the paint he has his limitations when he goes out to the perimeter and he's a great rim blocker and he's a pretty solid athlete for a guy of his size and and, you know for being how he is he's pretty versatile and can play from I think the three to the five and you know if we're gonna talk about what he needs to work on is he struggles with his outside shot sometimes he struggles in traffic he can sometimes be unfocused defensively and he needs that strength obviously he stands at seven foot 195 pounds coming out of Serbia so you know he needs to bulk up and get up to like maybe 230 240 uh, it seems like how I said sometimes he's unfocused on de defense, which me might mean he has a questionable motor. And obviously he has limited experience against playing top-notch competition as he played only in the second division of the EuroLeague. An 18-year-old 7-footer will have anybody interested in Pukotsky. He's a power forward that plays like a guard, but also has the build of one. Whichever team drafts him will need to be able to fine-tune his abilities. His experience is limited. Alex played two games in the EuroLeague two years ago and did not play this past season as he played in the second league. So I think, again, a team's going to have to take a flyer on him in the middle of the round hoping that they get their Giannis. I would love the San Antonio Spurs to take him. I would love that. Obviously, it'd be funny if the Bucks take him. I could see Toronto taking him. I do see him being a good player. So let me hear your opinions down below. I really hope you guys did watch the end of this. As always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Until next, guys, peace out.